everybody. Welcome to the Floaty Lady channel. Today we're going to go over the new CNC P6. It's a new tattoo pen that has adjustable stroke lengths. I'm super excited to check it out. Let's do an unboxing. Okay, so the P6 is unique in that you can adjust the stroke length. So let's check it out. Let's see what this P6 really looks like. Okay, cool. The CNC P6 comes in a nice little packaging here. Let's take a look. Nice padding in that little mesh bag there. So it is made of aerograde alloyed aluminum and it comes in this mute black color with this uh, gold band here. It's 172 grams and it feels like a pretty good weight I gotta say. Let's see how the distribution is. So here's where your needle's gonna be and your cord. Seems like there's pretty good even weight distribution. It's not too heavy at the end here and with a little wrapping here it might even help uh, add a little bit more weight to the tip but I think yeah it's a nice balance and here are the magical stroke lengths so we have the three uh, to four millimeter stroke length starting here three 3.3 increment 3.6 3.8 and four and so you can actually change these stroke lengths um, while you're tattooing actively so you just turn and change those the operation voltage for the p6 is 7 to 11 volts so you want to stay in that voltage range while you're using it it also comes with an rca cord here just a standard rca good fit all right again so in total it comes with this nice mesh bag an RCA cord two rubber o-rings and the p6 itself so let's open this thing up and see what it looks like inside I'm just gonna grab this uh, gold grip here and turn past the adjustment of the needle depth which way this way and just keep turning Okay, so we have our grip that you can clean separately there. The inside of the machine here, uh, the mechanism that pushes down on the needle. Forbid remove. <laughs> cool, so that's what the drive arm looks like. Nice, forbid to remove. I'm not gonna remove it forbidden okay so that's basically the tour of the CNC p6 uh, looks like a beautiful little machine here want to give it a whirl let's try it out on some silicone with a battery and just see how it lines and shades before we try it on human skin let's go okay so I have a couple cartridges I want to try out for my next project the quell cartridges and the rain cartridges. I'm going to use a nine round liner and a nine mag for our demo here so I can see it pretty well on the silicone and you guys can see it at home. You can get these uh, quell and rain cartridges on Amazon. Follow link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are going to open these up and try them out on the P6. Start with the rain, nice fit to the machine there. I'm gonna plug in this uh, battery from Ink Claw. Nice fit. The lowest operating voltage is seven, so we're just gonna make sure to start there. It's a pretty quiet sound to it. Yeah, I hear the sound between three and four. Yep, 
yeah there is a sound difference so yeah so you're I'm going from a shorter to a longer stroke length there so we're gonna start at the lowest stroke length here the three I think I'm gonna go up in voltage Oh yeah, that looks pretty saturated. And that's just the three. So at the lowest stroke length, we can see that we still get a line, a nice solid line in the silicone. That's at a nine volt there, so not even the highest operating voltage. Pretty good. Seems like a strong motor on this machine. Uh, they call it the CNC Customized X1 motor. Let's listen to the other voltages. That's the highest operating voltage. All the way to the lowest. Okay, I'm at a three millimeter stroke length at the lowest operating voltage. Doing a little lip shape. And that's a three stroke length. Let's boost that up, get a better hit. Let's skip over to a 3.6 here. See if we notice a difference, still at the same voltage. Yeah, getting in there a little better. I'm definitely getting a bigger hit. And let's just max that out. There's a lot of increments in between too, but let's go low, medium, high. Here. Again, that's at the lowest operating voltage now with the longest stroke length. And yeah, looks like we're getting a bigger hit there too. So yeah, I see that you can stipple shade with this thing at different stroke lengths. Yeah, so as you increase the stroke length, you increase the distance between the dots when you whip shade, basically. So you can kind of see that. You can also see it gets a little darker too, because I think a bigger hit will get deeper as well, or um, will just penetrate the silicone better, I would assume. So let's try a little more lining. Okay, let's go a little lower this time out of eight and see if we can still get that nice. Smooth. A little choppier there. I'd keep it at a slightly higher operating voltage since seven's your lowest, eleven's your highest. Probably want to line more at a nine or up. But, um, but yeah, you could definitely slow your hand speed down there and get a pretty good line. The nine volt just looks more bold. Back to the nine volt. Yeah. I'm at a 9.2 volt, so should go a little faster.
The pour really cuts in well to the silicone. Go down a little bit, see if I need the pour to keep cleaning it here. And just, just fine. The 3.8 millimeter. So the P6 is doing really, really well on the silicone test. I'm seeing very saturated lines, uh, which is pretty tough on the silicone. Silicone doesn't like to take the black ink. It'll definitely get into the skin even better. But I'm not maxing out the power on this sucker to get the penetration I want on the silicone. So that means, to me, that means the capability is good because I've tried machines where I've maxed out their capability and I can't get the penetration I want on even the silicone. So to me, that is a, a reasonable test before you get to human skin. Let's pull, put on this mag here and see how that works out. So for shading, we're gonna start at the three. And let's go to the lower operating voltage here. Good penetration at the lowest settings here. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this little guy. I think it's doing really well on the silicone test. I'm excited to try it on on my next project, actually. Nice, quiet, strong machine. Quieter than the train you hear in the background. So there we have some black packing. That is combined with some whip shade on the silicone. It's nice and saturated. Some shading on those balloons. This little design here, some really nicely saturated lines there. Yeah, this thing definitely is running smoothly on the silicone, so I'm excited. Super excited to try out the P6 on human skin. So all in all, I think this has been a great test for the P6. The CNC P6 has these adjustable stroke lengths and I definitely notice a difference between uh, the different stroke lengths available. I love the versatility of it. The weight distribution seems really good. Um, I personally would cord it to have a little better weight distribution, but it feels great with a battery. It's not too top heavy. The sleek design of the top part here looks a little bit like another model uh, of CNC I've tried. I think it's a smart design for the top here because it reduces the weight and also makes the RCA connection a little more, a little more accessible and easier to grip with your thumb. This one go, this ink claw battery goes on and off really easily, but I imagine some might be a little, a little stiffer. And yeah, I love the colors. It looks like a nice professional machine. I think that the uh, size of it, the width of the pen is good too. It has a good grip on it. Um, I love the matte finish. What else can I say? It's cool. So all in all guys, this is a great machine for anybody, starter, professional alike. You're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck on this one. I do recommend the CNC P6. You can get it on Amazon. Follow link in the description below. Right now it's under $200 and that's a great deal for getting this much out of it. I think this is absolutely a great performing machine and I can't wait to try it on human skin. Stay tuned for that in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.